What's up guys, here we are with day 11. I'm so excited because we are already at day 11. In today's video, we are solving two day raids. All right, let's go. Okay, just before I start, I have to note that this challenge is a little bit hard. So you would need to know the Python basics. So if you wanna learn more about the Python basics, I would highly recommend you my Python course. You can check it in the description, the second link. Okay, so today we are building on our knowledge of arrays, etc. Oh, right. Yeah, or you can check uh, the rest of the videos of this list. Yeah, we will learn a lot. Just trust me in this one. Okay, so this challenge is about we will be getting a 2d array of 6 by 6 dimension what does that mean okay so we will get something that looks like this which is an array or a list of lists okay so it should be one list of six lists uh, looks like something like if i can just print it over here print array just show you oh we, yep as you can see this is the main list this and inside this list we have one two three four five six lists so we have a list of six lists basically so that turns out to be this six by six list anyway so the target or the the task is to convert this uh, to have uh, an hourglass, yes. So we define an hourglass in A to be a subset of values with index falling in this pattern in A graphical representation, something like this. So, for example, here I've drawn this the same, something like this. So for this one, what we will do is draw like in program and the code we will draw something like an hourglass which probably should look something not probably it would look something like this okay so we would do this one then we will do the second one which is this subset if I can just get it right okay then this third subset you get the idea so this same shape we will take it and move like by one index like to this this so the center would be this one then it would be this zero this zero then this zero okay so then we will move down by one so this would be over here so our shape would look something like this oh my god oh yes it would look something like this then we would move one two three then we move down and move down and as we are doing that we should calculate the numbers within this hourglass so for example in this hourglass we have one one and two so in total we have four and then we should return the highest number we've got or the highest hourglass number we've got which in this in this uh, in this array to the array it would be 19 and as you can see it here this is the first one which is this three ones and one and which in total would be seven this one then we have the second one third fourth fifth etc the most or the maximum sum of our glass numbers which would be this one okay two four four two one two four yeah it's this one which is this one and, and the total of those numbers we should return it to be the result so i've, all, I've already solved it and i found this website called website called python titter okay and it's very cool so i've took this i've took this list and put it here so this same number we've got so i will visualize for you the solution so we you can learn more all right so yeah i'm here to help you guys so yeah we've got our array <coughs> so first first thing we would do with our code which is the solution we'll first 
to find the array, which in here, in their code, is basically finished here, because it starts with an empty array, then it keeps adding the numbers into the array, which makes us a 2D array, which we printed over here. So by this stage, if I kept pressing next, 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 by this stage, we have finished this. So now our code starts. So this list that we will get from the curve, from the, the side from hacker rank looks something like this. So as you can see, we have the main list. Okay, this main list, this this array has a list. This list, in the first index of the this list, we have this list, and the second index or one, index one, we have this list, and index two, we have this list, and index three, we have this list, and so on. So uh, then the first thing we would do is define is max, which what does it mean? I will show you in a minute, but what uh, basically is max is, it's the total of the minimum number that we could get, which if we refer to the challenge is minus nine, that's the constraints. So. A will be in the inclusive range of minus nine to nine. If an hourglass has seven numbers, if I would show you with seven, which the amount of numbers we get in each hourglass, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And we multiplied it by minus nine, which is the maximum number we could get, the minimum number we could get, minus nine multiplied by seven equals uh, minus 63 which is exactly the number we have over here so yeah I need to give a shout out to this dude I don't know how to pronounce his name but I will put his github link in the description he did something very very intelligent like I consider it very intelligent which is took his solution and will explain it right now okay just my voice is going over <clears throat> so let us get to the visualization. We have an S max. He wrote it as a minus nine multiplied by seven for readability. I wrote it as a minus 63. Anyway, so we define S max as minus 63. Then we got our for loop. So in the first for loop, we go through the range of the length of the array minus two. Why minus two? Because the center, okay, of the hourglass would be less by two indexes then for the column we go the same but instead of the length of the array we go through the length of the array inside the array so if this is zero we are going through the length of this list we have index zero we have this list what's the length of the list we have uh, six items we have four column in range length array row the length of the row the length of the array minus two okay the array of the index the array inside the array so if we are at zero we will get the length of this so anyway then we define top left top left which is this number okay this is top left in our hourglass. If our if our hourglass first our first hourglass would look something like th no no okay sorry our hourglass would look something like this our first hourglass so our top left would be this one if I can just change this to it so this would be our top left okay so we define top left as the the zero, okay, so we have row equals zero, column equals zero, and then in the array we get zero, zero, which is the first index of the, the list, and the first index of the list inside the list, which equals one. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, yet yeah, what? Well, okay, then we have top center, which is this, top right, top, sorry, top right okay one center one all of them will be ones all of them are indeed ones nice then we define s variable which in its turn sums up 
the total of all of those numbers. Then here is the cool trick. Let me bring in the Python interpreter. If we would do like max, okay, the max method, if you give it any number with any other number, it gives, it returns the higher one. Get it? So, what does that do? Using this line, which why I said this solution is in so intelligent, is this line will update S max to be the highest number we will get through this loop. Because we are starting as the min the minimum number, which is minus sixty three. We can't go lower than that because the constraint says the lowest number could be minus 9, minus 9 multiplied by the items of the hour class which are 7 which equals minus 63 which what we said over here so if, if this is if if we took any number so if we said max and let's say we got 20 and we are passing the s max which is minus 63 we get the higher number which is the 20 now s max equals 20 right so it would be 20 until another number so now it would be 20 now if, if another number let's say we got 50 it would still returns 20 if we get 11 we still get 20 because it's now the highest number we've got if we got 50 now we get the highest number and now s max would be 50 so that solution is very very cool i think so yeah and as you can see here for the top left top center top right center bottom left bottom center bottom right we have the index for this now for this row is three column zero we are talking about the center of the glass so this being zero one two so three zero we are talking about one two this is this is the center being zero one two three okay so we are over here okay so we have as you can see top left would be zero now we define top left top center would be zero also if we press next as you can see here top center is still zero top right we know it would be two so if we press next top right is two now the center would be zero we are at the center center is indeed zero bottom left would be zero indeed bottom left is zero bottom center is zero and bottom right would be one indeed bottom right is one and the sum up would be if we count here it would be three and indeed s or sum is three so now we have s max as 10 this is the maximum number we've got and now that this sum is three so we press next and s max would still be 10 as you can see okay so cool 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 now let us bring this code into our to solve the challenge in general so what we would do first is define our maximum as we've said or sorry uh, it should be minimum actually okay minimum number we could get is minus 9 multiplied by 7 or in another words minus 63 okay so then we'll go through for each row in the range of the length of the array minus 2 we said y I want to see the length of the array so it's 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the length is 6 items this is this would be 6 6 minus 2 is 4 4 that means we are going to 0 1 2 and 3 0 1 2 3 and since this is in the inclusive range the exclusive range sorry we don't go to 4 which is the latest number so here in the center we go 0 1 2 3 only 
and for the column we go 0 1 2 3 and this represents the center of our hourglass I think that's clear so if we will do that then for the column and the range of the length of the array which is represented by the row minus 2 now what we will do is define the top left top center right so I'll copy them from here if you wouldn't mind guys <clears throat> or actually let me write them so you you get the idea so we have top left top left is the array we get row and column that's the first item so this is this one okay this is the top left of the hourglass then we have top center which is array row okay we're not moving the row but in the column it's plus one so column which is zero plus one so we are getting this number which is the top center then the top right we will have this exact thing but of course plus two then for the center we have array with row we want to go down for one and go in the column so we got gonna one go in the row by one we wanna go in the column by one so you wanna increase row plus one and column plus one then in the bottom left yeah as you can see here yes center one plus one plus one in the bottom left bottom left this one what we'll do is go in the row by two and the column will be the same so bottom left will be a row row plus two column as is for bottom center would be array row plus two column plus one bottom left equals array row plus two column plus two which is the maximum if you can see here now what we want to do is sum all of that into an integer call it total sum or we can just say tl plus tc plus tr plus center plus bottom left plus bottom center plus bottom left okay 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 this is bottom right sorry <laughs> sorry don't make the same mistake so bottom right so then we we'll update the minimum it's actually the maximum the highest call it highest record highest record highest record equals max total with highest record we've got so far and then we go out of the for loop and just print the highest the highest record now let's run the code congrats guys submit the code and here we are yeah guys so yeah guys that's it for this video hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like button hit that subscribe button enable the notification bell check my python course in the description if you feel you want to strengthen your python skills and yeah see you in the next one peace out